Well, hello and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts featuring her beanie because I'm not feeling well and my ears are cold. <laughs> um, anyway, today we will be reacting to Bill and Nia, Young Relationships. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, wow, look who just walked in, the wonderful Nia. What? What's this Nia, about? you gotta help me out here. I, I'm trying to help a 21-year-old version. Version. A virgin. Yeah, I'm still, I've been stuttering this whole podcast because I'm, I'm I think that fucking Tylenol PM is still Oh, that'll do me. it. Um, that'll do it. Speaking of the mic. Here we go. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. So this guy, he's a 21-year-old virgin. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, he wants to get laid. So he's been talking on Facebook with some nerd chick who's into Pokemon and all that. You know, <laughs> yeah. Micronauts and all that shit that they're Micronauts. into. Right. So uh, he just can't seem to, to get in the goddamn game. <clears throat> all right. So he's suggesting taking her to dinner and drinks. And I'm like, that's the worst thing you can do because you're going to end up in a relationship. And I'm saying he's 21 years old. He needs to go out there and crush some ass. And if he goes out, if you set it up with dinner and drinks, you take her to a movie, you're, you're setting it up like you, you care about her. Okay. You, you don't want to be a 21 year old. Yep. Okay. All right. I was confused about where this was going. I'm like, courtship is a good thing, but I guess in Bill's case, Bill is saying he, he has one objective and his objective is just to lose thine puri purity. <laughs> uh, and so in that case, I understand Bill's advice. I don't know if I agree with it, but you know, I understand it. But you're setting it up like you care about her. You, you don't want to be a 21-year-old. Okay, you're already furring your bra. Because I don't understand why being in a relationship is like the worst thing that could happen. Right out of the gate, it's fucking horrible, especially at 21. This guy needs no. to bang. He's like most He needs to bang at least 20, 40, 60. He can do that afterward. I don't understand why he can't take this girl. Why, why are you denying him his instinct to like take her out and show her a good time and laugh it up? And if they end up having sex, great. And if not, whatever. Why are you discouraging that? Because he's never been laid. Which yeah. means... Well, which what's why it's more important which, which for mean, him to which be... Means it's, the my first time, time, my time. The first time should be with someone you <laughs> care about. Because that set up your whole sexual outlook for like the rest of your life, I think. I think your first time should be like an ideal situation. It shouldn't just be with like a whoever. That's really gay. It's not. That's what? not what you they are so opposite and it is so hilarious. Um, I think Nia is speaking from an emotional uh, perspective and Bill is speaking from a get it done kind of perspective. And I think both have their points. Um, it seems though, like Nia said, his instinct is to take the girl out. So maybe he does want to like eventually be in a relationship, but he also wants to, you know, hit a home run. So... I don't know. <laughs> Their dynamic is so funny to me. Like, they never agree on anything. They literally never agree on anything. And it doesn't mean they're arguing. They just never agree on anything. Like a whoever. That's really gay. It's not. That's how it was for me. It was very <laughs> special and loving. And it, it really ah, shaped gross. my outlook. Stop saying that. <laughs> why, why is it gross? That's just funny. Special this guy needs loving. to go out. Hey, I told buy a stack of fucking condoms. He needs to go out. A stack. Okay. Then dress, you might as well dress, just tell him to get a hooker. It's closest. No. You might as well tell him. Well, that's, really? Well, that's kind of what you're, you're just throwing him out into the wild. Like, yeah, just bang a bunch of chicks. If that's it's not what I'm saying. Don't belittle, removed, don't belittle what I'm saying. If it's going to be that <laughs> devoid and removed from emotion, then you might as well just get a hooker. No, you know what the problem is, Nia? You don't understand how guys are wired. All, All right? right? Well, he's wired to take a girl out and... How you do know, you know that? You don't know this because guy. Because he said it. So what? I, I say things... <laughs> I say things that so I don't. So he said mean. it, and you don't. You don't believe him, dude. This is like a guy who's <laughs> never watched a football game talking about football. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, get the ball and run with it. That's that's his instinct. He doesn't know how to go off tackle. They just called the option. You think he's gonna throw it? He's just gonna. Bill is just a savage. He's a savage, and he's thinking about what he wish he would have done at 21, which is just sow his his royal oats all over the city of Boston. Like that's really what he wish he would have done. He just wish he would have run rampant. And I think everyone looks back at their 20s and like they're like, here's what I should have done. And I do agree to some extent that like, especially in your 20s, you should take 
high advantage of dating and dating different people just to understand what you like yourself I'm not speaking from a um, intimate point of view I just mean like learning you know I think that your 20s are meant for you to be for some people I mean there are some people who like their whole goal after graduating high school and college is to just get married and have babies and to each his own but I do think everyone should have experiences with with people different from them, from different cultures, places, things, you know, all those things. And just learn, like, what they really like and what they don't like. Um, so to some extent, I definitely agree with Bill. Like, he shouldn't just get into this, like, situation at 21, especially because he only wants one thing. So is it right to, like, try to wine and dine this girl? I don't know. I don't know. But I also definitely understand Nia because from an emotional standpoint, it's like, you don't want to be doing all of that. <laughs> Just out here possibly impregnating people and all the things. <laughs> yeah, get the ball and run with yeah. it. That's, that's his instinct. He doesn't know how to go off tackle. They just called the option. You think he's going to throw it? He's just going to start running. He doesn't know what to do. I, I have don't no know idea football. What you're yeah, exactly. same Nia. And the same way you have not, you know nothing about football. This guy knows nothing about pussy. And I'm telling you right now, he's going to go out there and he's going to fucking, she's going to hold his hand or give him a little kiss. And he's going to be like, oh, oh my God. All those feelings right? are great. Yeah. Why are you just trying to discourage those feelings? Those are all wonderful because feelings to have. Because demon. the because demon. Because of the demon. What are you talking about? The demon that every guy has in him. Okay? Not every guy is you, Bill. Every guy has that demon in him and you got to fuck it out of you before you fall in love. You have to hit, you got to hit. That maybe I'm superimposed myself, but you got to hit the wall where yeah, you, you think you're, you're crawling <laughs> up that last skank, and you're just like, "What the fuck am I doing?" I, I don't wanna, know why you're trying to turn I, him into a dirt bag. I want to meet a nice girl because Nia, this guy. Is this what it's really like, gentlemen? Is this men, men of the world, watching this, listening? Is this what it's like? What he's saying? Jeez, Louise. Um. I do agree to, like I said, to some extent, like I do think guys in particular, but also women have, they have like, there is a need to have this like season in your life where you're just like wilding, like just wilding out and whatever that means for you, you know, everyone's uh, levels are different, but whatever it means to just let loose and live for you, what that looks like. I think everyone needs some of that in their life. I mean, honestly, the best of times and the worst of times. Like you just have all these great memories and you're like, what was I doing and how did I survive that? I feel like everyone kind of needs those wild days. I don't know if they need them in, in, in intimate settings. So that sounds reckless, if you know what I mean. There's all kinds of things floating around in the air and in the fluids and I don't know. <laughs> D D Nia's like, you're just trying to turn him into a, dirt a dirt bag, And that's kind of what it sounds like. He is trying to like, this guy does instinctually feel like he wants to uh, be an upstanding gentleman and treat this lady right in hopes of, you know, it turning into his, his end goal, the touchdown. He doesn't seem like he wants to like be a dirt bag. So I'm on, I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm I don't know why you're trying to turn I, it into a dirt bag. I want to meet a nice girl. Because, Nia, this guy is going to fall in love right so out of the shoot. Right out of the shoot. Without ever that, ask. Because he's going to fuck thing? with him when he's in That's his true. 40s. Wait, what? I have no idea what you Bill, mean, what have you been I'm through? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. This out. is what, no. No. Follow She's going to do something. Follow your heart, sweetie. And this dude, <laughs> this girl. Take that He's nice gonna... little nerdy girl out. Talk about all kinds of nerdy stuff together. Kiss, make out, be excited about seeing her again in a couple weeks. And then it builds from there and you have wonderful, sweet love making. And if it lasts a month, if it lasts yeah. a few weeks, that's, oh, that's life. And that's how geez, it goes. That's the advice you should be giving him. Yes. Is to go for it. And if things don't work out, know that you will find and you somebody know what's else. And you know what's funny? That's the, the advice, advice you should The give advice him. that you're giving him. Is in his 40s, he's going to have a Corvette convertible and his comb over is going to be fucking blowing in the breeze as he try as he drives down the street banging no, his fucking No, I think he's going to be just fine. I oh, think you, you should you take her so? out. Yeah. And like I said, if it doesn't work out with this girl for some reason, 
you will find somebody else. But you got to get out there and get in the game. <laughs> All right, there you go. So you <laughs> got it from both sides of the ball there. You um, choose, sir. You choose. You choose. <laughs> I'm just looking out for this guy because I, I really, this guy is, you know, he's leading with his jugular and he's going to get hurt. I'm telling you, you I'm telling you, dude, you got to hurt them before they. <gasps> yeah, that's right? really what it comes Bill, to. that's what this really comes. Somebody hurt Bill in his 20s and now he's trying to repay every woman on the planet by giving this type of advice. It's like, who hurt you, Bill? Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that laugh. I'm really, now, see, this is why you're great on the podcast. So last week I asked to hear some fucking questions the from volume. the ladies. ladies. And I got some. Here we go. From the ladies. Hey, Bill. I've been listening to your Monday morning podcast for about a year. Uh, actually, my boyfriend listens, but now I'm hooked, which is awesome. Uh, anyways, I just want to say that I agree with you about the 21-year-old virgin from last week. Oh. Uh, and then she says, what Mia, it's Nia with an N, not an M. A lot of people mess that up. What Nia with an N says makes sense to my wiring. You got to stand up for your wife. He just politely corrected her, but like made sure to make it super clear. Her name is Nia with an N. Nia with an N. People do it all the time, but it's Nia with an N. <laughs> you got to stand up for your lady, Bill. What Nia with an N says makes sense to my wiring. Being a female, romance and fuzzy feelings are fun. But my 10-year relationship has given me a little insight into a man's perspective. And I agree that the young man may get laid, get totally attached to the nerdy chick, and then, like a little domesticated puppy, puppy, puppy. dog, proceed to follow this nerdy first-time girl around, waiting for, and waiting for her sexual peak, waiting and waiting and waiting. Then, voila, he's 40, horny, feels like he's wasted his youth, perhaps angry at himself and women at large. And then who knows? Maybe a comb over and a Corvette, maybe a serial killer. Who knows? For the record, it's not that I don't think love works, but I do think that men have to come to that on their own. Fucking brilliant. Absolutely. She's basically agreeing with me that you have to fuck the demon out of you. Um, after they've realized that they want a relationship to come home to, or perhaps they realize that they don't, which is fine. Uh, but then there won't be children to fuck over and a relationship ruined. Absolutely. Now, if I hadn't freaked out Nia about my goddamn gun talk, you, you guys would have loved me. Charlton Heston would have been fucking high. <laughs> this, he's all over the place today. Uh, yeah, I mean, I see her point. I just think um, chances are if this guy is into a quote unquote nerdy girl he himself is also a little nerdy and he admittedly doesn't have any experience in the bedroom and so he is just going with what he knows i.e off of relationships he's seen in person or maybe on tv social media which is like you know taking a girl out on dates and things like that and he doesn't even know that really because of what he wants that might not be the best way because he will end up attached. And maybe he wants to be attached. Maybe he does want to be in a relationship. But I think his biggest goal is the touchdown. So, yeah, I don't know. Part of me agrees and part of me doesn't. I'm, I'm so torn. I'm, like, really in the middle of this, truly. Freaked out Nia about my goddamn gun talk. You, you guys would have loved what? me. Charlton Heston would have been fucking high five. Talk was the goddamn this. Grave. Sorry, y'all. Fixing uh, myself here. I could have had her comment on that. Uh, number oh, so two. Oh, so she left. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me get her for a second. Hang on a second. Oh, this should be good. <clears throat> okay, and with hey, the magic Nia with an N. of the pause button, <laughs> the lovely Nia has returned to the podcast. And, <laughs> and don't you look lovely? Thank you. Um, all right, listen to this. I actually got to kind of read that. The, this girl actually kind of agreed with me last week. Remember last, last week, the 21-year-old version? Version? <laughs> Virgin. Why do you keep saying virgin? Why does he say virgin? Like like iOS point two five version. Like what? I also love that Bill films this like in their bedroom or in a bed in their house and Nia's just like around. Like he doesn't go to like a studio or anything. Like I love the thought of that. Like just like, hey babe, can you come here for a second and hop on the mic? <laughs> like I find that amazing. Remember last last week the twenty one year old version? Virgin, virgin. Why do you keep saying virgin? 
I don't. I have like. I I would love to say that I have dyslexia. I am like one. I have a rare case of dyslexia it's not where what dyslexia is. where I don't even have to be reading to do it. Right. <laughs> you just mispronounce words. All right. So who will agree oh, with you? Are you in a mood? Are you in a mood? Let's keep it nice, okay? I didn't. I didn't bring you on here to have you do things that I don't appreciate. <laughs> Right. Just so get on with it. The 21-year-old virgin. <laughs> yes. This is a lady who's saying this, all right? Because I asked the broads, you know, to quit their... F- I just feel like her blood pressure has to be high. He just, like, pokes at her and, like, picks at her, like, are you in a mood? <laughs> he's like the, like... And I don't think he's really like this. I really think he, like, plays with her. But, like, he comes off in these funny ways. It's like the misogynistic, like, TV dad that's just, like... Stay in your place, honey. Don't talk to me like that. Like, it's so fun. And she just, like, is so good at just, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. You know? And then he laughs because he knows he's not serious. Like, their dynamic is so fun. I think it's the healthiest kind of, like, dynamic when it comes to marriage because you have to, like, tolerate someone for the rest of your life is really the plan, at least. And she, they just do such a good job. I, I just have to commend their their dynamic. Who's saying this? All right, because I asked the broads, the you know, broads. to quit their fucking whining and write a goddamn email. Just read what was written. I'm trying to make it funny here. Let me turn you up a little <laughs> bit there, fucking squeaky. Oh um, my gosh. So I, all right. Well, I already read this damn thing. I, I have to, I have to paraphrase now. Okay. Um, she says basically Nia, I told her it's not Mia, uh, <laughs> happens all the time, makes sense with all the warm, fuzzy feelings. Look at me. Don't look at the email. All right. But now that she's been in a relationship for 10 years, she kind of understands that, uh, guys have to come to a point where, uh, look- where, where they, where they realize that they want to be in a relationship. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So telling this guy right out of the gate. To just go for the warm fuzzy might be the right thing, but I mean, you could send this. This guy could end up just latching onto the first thing he ever fucking, you know, bent over, right? And then all of a sudden he comes out the other side and just realizes, you know, I wasn't in love with this girl and all this pussy I could have gotten, and then it could make him a, a woman oh, hater. Give me a break. That's gonna that's gonna make him a woman hater. Yeah. As opposed to what? So following wanting to take somebody out and go on dates and stuff and having it not work out that's a worse idea than just going out and just banging a bunch of chicks because banging a bunch of chicks and just treating them like disposable fuck toys that that's not going to make him i'm not saying disregard i'm women. not saying no no it wouldn't it wouldn't do that at all no no yeah. I'm, not saying... I'm, I'm crazy i'm the crazy one oh jesus Christ. That he can we turn the sarcasm out. down a couple of notches you started the sarcasm, though, sir. You started it. <laughs> yeah, what Nia is saying makes total sense. She's like, so you're saying him possibly loving this girl or falling in love with this girl will do more damage to him than him going out and just spraying the field? Possibly. Nia, first of all, you don't understand how guys are wired. I do understand how guys are wired. You don't. I don't understand how you're fucking wired. I would never tell you what you're thinking. You're telling me, like, I'm telling you right now. I didn't tell, first of all, I didn't tell him how he's wired. I just said if he had an instinct. The thing is, you guys are twisting everything that I set up. All I suggested was, he said, oh, should I take her out to dinner and all this other stuff or or take her out and... Because he was talking about being a nerd and liking... I don't remember what he said. But he, he said something about wanting to take her out and getting to know her. And I said, yeah, that's a great idea. And now it's like, no, it's terrible. Because he's a boy. You should tell him just to fuck everybody. No, and not, not take saying. anyone out. That's not what I'm God saying. Falls that is what you're saying. I'm saying this Bill. dude... That's is, what you're he's, saying. He's in dire straits right now, okay? If he's 16 fucking years old and he likes a girl... Okay. Dire straits, it's not that serious. He's yeah. only 21 years old. No, that, no. He's up to his fucking neck in I'm never going to get laid in my life, okay? <laughs> and the water is swirling down the fucking drain, all right? So he's desperate right now. So anybody fucking pays attention to him. I'm not saying, I just was worried that that's what the fuck he was going to do. He's going to get sucked into a goddamn relationship. And there is that thing. And you know something, Nia? When people fuck up in life, how often do they, do they actually own up to it themselves? Like, that was a stupid thing that I did. They usually don't. That's how you end up fucking, why he could possibly end up hating women, because he's going to blame them. Not that it's, that it's their fault. 
It's not this nerdy chick's fault that this guy hasn't gotten laid in 21 fucking years. You know, it's not her fault, but it'll end up being her fault. You, you, I mean, I'm, I'm explaining resentment to you. You understand resentment. <laughs> I don't need to explain that, right? Yeah, but I think you're also, when people talk about doing stuff like that, it, that you're also coming from a place of fear. And I just don't believe in that. You know, I can't argue that. that um, right. All right, let's go on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See that, people? I establish credibility. You admit totally, when you're fucking wrong. I do come totally from a place of fear. Totally couldn't disagree I know that. what you bitches is up to. All right, number <laughs> yeah. two. That's like Bill was definitely advising from a place of his own hurt, which is why they say, like, hurt people hurt people or, like, you know, misery loves company because he's only able to give this guy advice from his experience. Well, he's not only, but that's the place that he's coming from. So Nia's like, you're telling him this because of something you went through, not because you necessarily wanted that or believed it, but because of what you went through. I think they both made valid points. I think the girl who wrote it made valid points. I don't know who's right or wrong. Do whatever you want. Like Nia said, follow your heart, kids, and go have the day you deserve. <laughs> Peace.